Hello everybody, I am Hosanna David. I have a message from the Lord that I want to share with us. I had a dream a few days ago. In this dream, I was explaining to someone the activities of false prophets and pastors in the church. So I, we were outside, I can't remember exactly where we were standing, but I knew we were outside and as I was explaining to him that please you have to mind the kind of church you attend. In a dream, in that same dream I had a vision. As I was telling the brother the, the, this morning I had a vision and this is exactly what I saw. I saw a church. The main entrance to the church had two doors. One was just the normal one. The other one was on the ground. And the Lord revealed to me as people were entering the church, their bodies were entering the church, their own soul were the souls of those worshippers were entering the underground door. I felt so bad. And I, I was explaining to the brother that there are churches you enter, immediately you, as you enter the church, physically your soul is caged. And this is a problem that we have in the church today. When I mean the church, I'm not talking about any particular denomination, but I am talking about the body of Christ. Satan goes to church. He goes to church. There are churches everywhere. When you have the pastors or the general overseers who are demonic, but they carry the same Bible that we carry. I don't know who will hear this message and call themselves to order. What kind of church are you attending? Who is your pastor? Who is leading you to Jesus Christ? Look at the word of God. Matthew chapter 24 verse 24. Jesus said, For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, inasmuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Are you an elect of the Lord? Are you being deceived? Please, you need, we, all of us, we need a spirit of discernment. The Bible says, test all spirits. Have you tested the spirit of your pastor? Where is it taking you to? Please call yourself to order. A lot of people have been bewitched. And I talk to people sometimes. Do you know that men of God, many men of God are witches and wizards? People don't even think about this. Some of them, you see, no wonder they can sleep with their church members. No problem. They don't have any problem with that. They can do anything with their church members. They can manipulate the source of men. And I have to warn as many that I need to warn. Listen, I have seen the judgment of God and I'm not afraid of any man of God. You can do your works. It's none of my business. You can only kill the body. That means if God wants it, if God gives you the opportunity, if God allows it, you can only kill this body, but you can't kill the soul. Jesus said, do not be afraid of those who can kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. But be afraid of him who can kill the body and cast your soul into hell. I have just one person to fear, and that is God Almighty. I want to talk to pastors. If you are a man of God, and you manipulate the souls of your members, you manipulate the souls of these innocent people who are moving around blindly because of disobedience. You will pay for every soul that you send to hell. Because of money and you send people to hell, you manipulate the souls of people, you are going to pay. And Jesus will never leave you to go without receiving the punishment for all the evil you do against the body of Christ. Temptation, the things that bring temptations must surely come. But you that brought the temptation, you will not go unpunished. You better repent. You better repent. 
And if you are a church member, you know, somebody is telling you to bring your tithe, somebody is telling you to sow seed, somebody is telling you to bring offering, but they don't warn you about your soul. Run from that man of God. Run away. Your soul is very much important. Please share this message. You can subscribe if you want. If you like the message, if you want to get other messages like this, you can subscribe. Because day after day, I keep on receiving messages like this. And the fire is burning inside of me and I can't keep quiet again. A lot of people are coming to hell. If you don't like the message, you can go your way and follow your first prophets. No problem. But remember, Jesus Christ is coming soon. He's going to judge the world. You will stand before him. I'm going to stand before him. Everybody will stand before the Lord God Almighty. Satan does not want to go to hell alone. Please run away from him. Thank you. God bless you.